most people in America don't mind having technology in their hands. And yet there are some people in America that want to take your rights to your technology out of your hands. What do we do with those hackers? What do we do with those slackers? What do we do with those people who are so stupid about their own life that they just don't know what to do other than cause other people strife? It's their joy to be that little villain, that little mini-me that you might have seen on a, uh, Austin Powers TV. Give me a break, motherfucker. How old are you? I really want to know how old you are. Because everybody in America knows you have to work. And if you think you don't have to work to earn, you're out of your mind. If you think being a player all your life with your britches under your ass is going to get you a life, it won't. If you lost something, I'm sorry for you. If you didn't find something, I'm sad for you. But you have the right to turn over a new leaf every day. You wake up and you change your attitude. You wake up, you change your behavior. According to one of my old bosses who's a shithead in America, literally thought that it took 30 days to change your behavior. And that may be true scientifically. But if you're trying to walk the walk, if you're trying to talk the talk, if you're trying to move yourself forward, then you spend your time talking to people who know how to help you to move forward. You don't spend your time wasting their time pretending to be something you're not just to see how much they know and what they've got. You see, the liars of America look at what you're carrying. But a human being of America who knows what America's about looks you in the eyes, talks to you respectfully, and doesn't try to fuck you over.